Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you an industrial control panel builder who use ePlan Pro Panel and the routing and production element to get your panel layout in 3D and the wiring in 3D? Then you may came across the question how to wire through devices. This question we received recently on our YouTube channel and we will cover in today's video. All right, so we are here in our ESS sample project on the first page of the power supply where we have connections from the XD1 terminal strip to the circuit breaker FC1. And those three connections here, one, two, three, are going through three current transformer coils. We see the current transformers are connected here with the connection definition points L and K to other terminals, the terminal strip XD5, but three connections are going through those. And now the question is, how can we accomplish this in ePlan Pro Panel? So we'll just move to the Pro Panel environment. And if we take a look how the wiring looks like here from the terminals to the circuit breaker, by default, if we use the route functionality, ePlan Pro Panel selects the shortest possible routing path between source and target. So now the challenge is to move those wires from the shortest path through the current transformers. And in order to accomplish this, we will use the functionality change route in ePlan Pro Panel. Since there are three different routes we will like to go, we will need to repeat this action three times. After I have showed you this functionality, I will explain you what is necessary in the current transformer to make this happen. Okay? So what we're going to do is we will go to here to change route. And as you see, and on every connection segment, you will get now a white dot. This allows you now to define from where to where would you like to move the wires? The first task of this comment is to select source routing path. That means from where would you like to move the wires? And in our case, it will be this segment, for instance. And if we click here one time, right, then we will need to define where we would like to move it. Before I do this, let's think of the solution. So we would like to move it from here to this segment at least. But is this all or do we need additional information? If we only select this path here, then the wire will essentially go here through and then after this to the left side, right? If you want to wire it like that, then that's all what you need to do. If you would like to wire here to the right, then you will need to select this point and this point is the target. I will select the second option. So let's start here by selecting the routing path. And as you clicked on it, you're getting a direct line. And now you can define the select target routing path. And we will define this point and this point as the target. By hitting the space bar, we are confirming our selection. And now, ePlan asks you which wires would you like to move from the first routing path to the new routing path. And since I said we will need to repeat this action three times, we will select now for the first the wire which goes through the first transformer, then for the second, and then for the third. So in this case, I will just select this wire. And by pressing OK, you see the wire is routed through this transformer. Let's repeat this action two more time. So select source routing path is this one. Now the second one is here, and the target is again here. We are hitting the space bar. And in this case, we would like to use this wire. So 
we will click here. And as you see, the, the window is maybe a little bit too big. We will just have here to confirm if OK. And the second wire is landed. And now we will repeat it one more time. Select source routing path. And this is the target routing path. And this is the target routing path. Pressing the spacebar again. And that's the last wire which we will uh, route through it. By pressing escape, we are finishing this command. So that's it how you can wire through devices. But what do you need in order to change the path like this? You will need to define routing paths and also routing paths through the devices, right? So as you know, ePlan needs a complete routing path network between source and target to route the wire, right? That means for you, when you prepare the transformers, you will need to define routing paths through this, right? If I now just hide those wires, which I just routed, you will see that here through the current transformer, we have a routing path, right? It means I would recommend you when you create the macros, to place a routing path in the transformer and then simply connect this um, routing paths from the transformer to your wire darts. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share in your community. Also, let me know in the comments below which other topic you would like to see soon on ePlan Essentials. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.